The first thing we need to think about is that companies are formed by people. That's an obvious statement, but some, so many times we forget about it. And so many times you catch yourself saying, oh, well, yeah, well, they'll figure out. Well, let's wait for the company to resolve that. We are the company. Myself and my colleagues, if we're excited and inspired, going the same direction, full of energy, motivated, so is the company. If we're going in different directions, not sure about what we're doing, and so on and so forth, the company will stall. And because companies are formed by us, by people, a dream is an important thing. In our company, we don't have vision or mission, we have a dream. Our dream is to be the best real company in the better world. But I mean, forget our dream. Just think as dreams in general. Why are they important? First, because they set the bar. They set the expectation, they open the gaps. And you can anchor things on that. A dream has to be big. Why? Because dreaming big and dreaming small take, take pretty much the same amount of energy. So why not dream big? And if you don't do it for yourself, nobody will knock at your door and tell you to do it. So a dream has to be big, has to be stretched, and, but has to be credible at the same point. Time and time again, we see people putting out dreams out there that they only know 20% how to get there. In 80%, they believe they will be able to discover along the way. Learning curve, tripping over things, copying from others, learning along the way. We call a dream something you know 80%, 70% how to get there, and the balance, the 20, 30%, you believe, by experience, that you're gonna be able to figure out along the way. Those are, that, that's very different from an adventure where you only know 20% of it. So dream, it's something that's to be stretched, big, credible, has to inspire people, align people, get the best out of them, get their commitment, because they'll have to dedicate a lot of energy and hard work to it. Um, once you set that bar higher, then everything changes. You anchor everything in that bar. It's just like the high jump, going back to sports. I mean, how many, how many times have we seen the situation where the bar is here, the athlete will only jump enough to clear the hurdle? If you never put the bar here, you'll never know, because nobody will jump here if the bar is here. So, I mean, the high jump is all about the coach putting pressure on the athlete because of the competition and putting the bar higher until the, the athlete cannot do it anymore. Same thing in our company. As leaders, we should always be putting that bar higher and not be afraid to dare to put and test the limits. Because I think life is very short for us to go through life without knowing the full potential of yourself and your people and therefore your company, your group. So that's the thing about dream. And the more public the dream is out there, the more you talk to investors about it, the more the pressure will come back to you. So the dream has to be internal and external. You say, I want to be the best in what I do in X time, and I'm, I'm, and I'm going to be measuring myself by this metric. So it's public. Everybody knows about it. Puts a lot of pressure on you, opens the gap, and it gets people excited if it's a dream, not an adventure.